Yo, what is up, everybody, and welcome back to another NBA 2K15 My Career Game. Um, things are going pretty good in Warriorville. That's what's up today. I mean, we beat my former team, the Rockets. We got the shoe deal. We're still waiting for um to be able to make that shoe. That I haven't gotten that cutscene or whatever how that works yet. But we did sign with Nike as Thompson's able to knock down the jumper. Clay Thompson is still in the starting lineup. This is like permanent now. Like Thompson replaced Steph back. It was Thompson at the start, then Steph came in the lineup, and now Clay's in there. For whatever reason, I'm not. I mean, I, I don't care either way. They're both cool. One of them will be a great sixth man. That's the way that's gonna work, though. The only thing that's not going good in Warriorville right now is our rebounding. We are not getting defensive rebounds. Andre Drummond beasting on the boards there, so we can't even give him a chance to get rebounds. Let's just get some steals. Denny Tice taking that one, poking it from Brandon Jennings in here. I'm just gonna straight up reach on Jody Meeks, reach in there, risk a foul, and I'm looking at Steph, but I'm wide open. So you hesitate, you pull up. You knock it down. So that works out all good. Steph Curry in the game here off the bench. Open for three, but early on, my teammates could not buy a bucket. I was finding guys open left and right, like Steph Curry here. Not even on the break. That's just off of, like, um, a made shot, I believe. But either way, Steph misses that one. But, of course, to beat the buzzer, this shot is going in by Steph. Because, you know, why not? That's just Steph Curry there. He's, <laughs> once you get him one shot, you never know what can happen. Same with Klay Thompson, though. Klay Thompson's also like that. He rattles in that three-pointer right there. We got the game tied up. We were a little, we were slippy from the start. We were down nine points, but now we're starting to play to our potential. We're not going to try to drop a potential trap game against the Pistons, though. We do need a rebound if we are going to, but we play some great defense there. If I need a rebound, I will rebound. As I'm looking at Klay Thompson, I easily had Iggy there, but I'm like, yo, Klay's heating up. But fortunately, Klay, he was, he was literally hit or missed this game. He made half his shots, but he also missed some really easy open ones. So, you know, that was that. And here, Klay Thompson drawing the double team. Like, no one was watching Denny Tice. And I was like, yo, Clay, give me the ball. And Clay was kind of late. Clay doesn't really have that point guard vision, so I have to wait a little bit. Nonetheless, we hit the bench, and the lead actually gets extended to five points. So that's all good here is Andrew Bogut able to get the bucket. I could easily have David Lee. I don't know why I didn't, but I ended up hitting Bogut there. Brandon Jennings trying to cross it over. I'm trying not to get a backcourt violation as Clay Thompson gets the and one. And we're starting to run away with this one here. Iguodala open in the corner for three over Josh Smith. The of course, Josh Smith not on the Pistons anymore. When I started this, um, when the game came out, obviously Josh Smith was still on the Pistons roster in October as we knocked down that three-pointer. Beautiful looking play right there. We're on a 12-4 run in the second half. Brandon Jennings, I believe, got blocked by Bogut on the break. Clay to Iggy to Tice from deep. Bang, bang. Bang! It rattles in right there. A bunch of unfortunate bounces for Denny Tice, who was 8 for 9 from the field in this game, along with 9 assists. Make that still 9 assists. We're looking for that 10 window. We're looking for that double double. Maybe even a triple double, because we have been bullies as far as stealing the ball as we find Clay Thompson for 3. That's it right there. So there's some beautiful looking plays right now, and they just cannot stop our offense. We are just straight up on fire. Clay Thompson for 3. The only thing that they can stop, the only way they can stop us is just if we beat ourselves and we miss open shots. Other than that, they are. Pretty much down and out of this one here. It's 72 to 58. Denny Tice is orchestrating a beautiful game, finding David Lee in the paint. That time I hit the wide open David Lee. Sometimes he actually misses that hook shot, but thankfully there he made it. And look at Clay Thompson calling for the ball. I'm like, all right, Clay, you want it, you got it, and he's got that shot to go. That's our offense, man. We just I just look for Clay all the time. As here we get a turnover, and even here I'm gonna look for Clay, and then all of a sudden this random cutscene triggers. Man, get off him. Whoa, whoa, not worth it, man. Let it go. Nah, man, that was a cheap shot. He wasn't even going for the ball, let alone looking at it. But we need you, man. You retaliate, you're the one gets tossed. You gotta chill. Hey, you wanna do it? Hey, let's go right here, right now, pump! Are you kidding me? You gonna run me for that? Man, that's a joke. That's a joke. And that'll do it for this game as Denny Tice walks into the stands. Hope you guys leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more NBA 2K15. And yeah, game over. We do win. But I also got to check that. I got to have my teammates back. And that's going to trigger some new cutscenes after the game, including this press conference. So check it out. Hey there. Boy, I wish I had friends like you. For what? Well, one time I locked the keys inside my car, called 10 of my so-called friends, and not one of them would get out of bed to help me. It's actually kind of sad. Hey, that's a great story. What's your point? Someone went after your teammate tonight and you took action like a good friend and I respect that. 
Yeah, I did what I had to do. He got my back, I got his. Good. You have my back too? When? In that press conference. The media's gonna ask you questions about getting ejected tonight, trying to get a rise out of you, trying to get you to lose it again. You'd be doing me a big favor if you didn't take the bait, okay? Don't worry, I got your back. Okay, Eric, you're up. You had a great night passing. Don't you wish your teammates would feed it to you every once in a while? Nah, man, in our offense, we feed the hot hand and the open man. Tonight, I was the feeder. Tomorrow, I'll probably be the receiver. You there, next question. You may have won, but you dominated the ball to an alarming degree. How can you keep your teammates happy if you're preventing them from getting their numbers? I really don't know where you're getting your facts from. I'm just doing exactly what Coach told me to do within our offense. If you got any issues with that, then you should take it up with my coach. I'm just playing the game the way I was told to. Of course, the topic that everyone seems to be avoiding for some reason is your ejection for coming to the defense of your teammate. Care to comment? There's not much to say. They hammered him unnecessarily, and I had his back. His back, huh? Yes, his back. You heard me. Can you explain to me how getting ejected from a game helps your teammates in any way? Listen, I can't expect you to understand the game because you never played the game. Never playing is not the same thing as not understanding. Now see, that's where you're wrong, all right? You can't understand something that you've never done. With athletes, there's a code, and the code says that you have your man's back, all right? And I had my teammates back tonight, and I know he would have done the same for me. Tonight, I paid the price. Hey, so be it. We'll be all right, but you wouldn't understand that because you don't play basketball. That Thanks. is... That's it. Thanks, Thank guys. you. What? I would have liked to have seen a little more remorse out there. But? But I'm glad you didn't lose your cool. Thanks. I'm getting better. 